I've been uh, pioneering a new field called human software engineering, and it's all about debugging and upgrading our inner human software. It's not about the computers, that's just an analogy. And I've discovered some amazing, remarkable techniques that can be used to really resolve, wipe out the underlying basis of problems like trauma, anxiety, heartbreak, emotional pain, all kinds of things that people in the past have typically really struggled with. And so these new techniques make it possible to change things like that in ways that have been, you know, people haven't even been able to dream of that. And I'm um, often asked, like, well, how did I discover these remarkable techniques? And one of the main drivers of my passion to find something was that uh, back in 1993, I was living in the Midwest in the USA, in Iowa, a small town in Iowa, about 10,000 people. And a very bizarre thing happened. I went to answer my front door one night, December 7th, 1993. And there was a stranger standing there, and as I opened the door, out from behind his back came this big gun. And he proceeded to shoot me in the chest. The bullet hit me right here. It was a 44. I found out later the bullet's about this big. Wow. Total miracle that it didn't kill me. In fact, total miracle it didn't, you know, didn't lose any limbs or organs or anything like that. So. Needless to say, I was a little bit traumatized by the event, and uh, so I was interested in finding a real solution to the problem. I didn't want to just cope with it, and I, you know, I had cognitive therapy before. I knew that wasn't going to help. I tried the medications and drugs for a day. It turned into a zombie. I said, okay, that's enough of that. I don't want to do that. And so I wanted to find something that was a real solution. So I went looking for that, and I was extremely fortunate to discover that the reason why we're all so lousy at resolving anxiety and trauma and things like that is because when we're little, we all get emotionally overwhelmed. And I've yet to meet anybody who liked it. In fact, we hate it so much that we put a lid on accessing our own natural capacity to feel just so we won't get overwhelmed. And, you know, we still get overwhelmed. It's the best we can do. It doesn't really work, but everybody does this. Mm -hmm. So what is needed is to learn how to do the exact opposite of what we're deeply conditioned to do. So instead of going away from where the sensation of the energy of the feeling is so intense, we need to learn to go right to the center of intensity and dive right into the center of it and feel all the way down it until there's nothing left to feel. And when we do that, we complete the incomplete experience that the body's holding there. So I was incredibly fortunate to discover how to do that, and it's the exact opposite of what we're deeply conditioned to do. And so I was able to completely heal myself from my own post-traumatic stress, and now I've been helping others do that for many years. So these are remarkable new techniques. That's just one of them. We actually have eight different techniques, there are two or three that we use all the time. And the one I just explained to you is called the CORE technique. It's an acronym for Center of Remaining Energy, which is a perfect description of the mm. technique, actually. Use your natural capacity to feel in completely new ways, ways that you've never done before. And the, the beauty of it is that it's all completely natural and something that we can do. It's just that we're so conditioned to do the opposite that nobody knows that, in fact, right in the center of those intense, emotional, painful energies, turns out there's a little opening like the top of an eye of a hurricane, like a little vortex. And if you can get close enough that you can find that, and you just dive in and slide right down the center of that vortex funnel all the way to the bottom, you come out the bottom and it's quiet and expansive and the energy dissipates and it's like, like burning off, like fog burning off in the morning sun. And when it's gone, it's gone. And it doesn't come back, which is just magnificent. Yeah.